Weather forecasts don't have to be all or nothing to be useful to us. Whenever a report says there will be a chance of some atmospheric event, it still helps us be prepared for what could be. Forecasts not only help you plan your day, but when making expected range predictions in GM Genius, they help you avoid making wild guesses and consider how much risk you want to take. If you hear there's a 10% chance of rain, you're probably going to leave the umbrella behind because you're just not likely to get rewarded for carrying it around all day. But when the forecast says a 90% chance, you probably won't leave home without it. If the weatherman is on the ball, 9 times out of 10, you'll be rewarded by staying dry. Meteorologists don't make wild guesses. They consider all the factors when making a forecast. The same goes for making bonus point predictions in your GM Genius lineup. It helps to get in the habit of metacognition, which is another way of saying, thinking about what you're thinking and consider how you're coming up with your predictions. Let's break it down. For each player in your lineup, you need to estimate how many points he's most likely to score. First, check whether you're basing your predictions on specific information, like projections, opponent stats, coaches' comments about how players will be used, and, this may be obvious, what happened in recent games. Then ask yourself, what specific pieces of information are shaping my prediction? Do I need more information? And, do I need different sources of information? Let's take a look at a detailed example. Imagine that after thinking about who your quarterback is playing this week, you estimate that he's going to pass for 275 yards, score two passing touchdowns, run for 10 yards, get intercepted once, and not fumble at all. Your point estimates would be 11 for passing yards, plus 8 for passing touchdowns, plus 1 for running yards, minus two for interceptions, and minus zero for fumbles, for a grand total of 18 points. Of course, predicting your quarterback's exact score is pretty unlikely. So when you set a range for each player's performance, you're trying to predict what factors can affect a player's fantasy score and how much each might vary. Getting the range of a player's performance just right can add a lot to your score, so this is worth some thought. You might set a narrow range if the player's a steady performer, or if fantasy scores at that position are relatively consistent. You might set a wider range if a player had been struggling with an injury or is facing an inconsistent defense. You increase your accuracy in setting the range by exploring the various likely outcomes. Go back into each component of the score and substitute into the formula the worst numbers that you think are realistic. The total gives you the low end of the range. Then, get the high end of the range by substituting the best numbers that you think are realistic for each component. So, in this example, the low estimates total 11, and the high estimates total 20. So you'd set your range from 11 to 20. This would give you a likely range for a player's performance. Does that seem too narrow or too wide? Check by asking yourself if the low and high scores both seem realistic. If not, go back and consider each component again. Now you weigh that range against the number of bonus points you'll get if your player lands within it. A narrow range could give you a lot of points, but you're more likely to miss and get none. A wider range gives you a better chance of your player landing in the range, but you'll get fewer points. It's hard to know how much risk to take, but that's no reason to just cross your fingers and hope for the best, or even think that there is only one likely outcome. Instead, take the next best possible action. Make realistic predictions by thinking of the factors that affect it and how much risk you want to take. You can't expect to be right all of the time, but overall, you can expect to get better at making predictions about your lineup and earn more bonus points. Good luck in the quick check, and when you're done, go to the scoring page to find the calculations for lineup and bonus points.